<laughs> Six. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, no. Woo! North Carolina with a hotel. I can't believe this is happening to me. $1,275, Herbert. $1,275. It's just a game. Oh, sure it is to you. You're rich. You, you've got all the properties. you got the race car. I've got the wheelbarrow. And I haven't, I haven't passed go in two hours. So don't tell me. Give me the money, Herb. I haven't got it. I've got $18. Everything's mortgaged. Well, then you're out. Out? <laughs> I can't just go out. I mean, come on, give me a break. You're bankrupt, Herb. <laughs> Please. What can I do? Well, we could play strip monopoly. <laughs> you can give us your coat, Herb. What? Good, I'll take the coat. Huh? Guess what item of apparel is next? Woo! <laughs> Guess what women's liberation is all about? Humiliation? We just heard you had great legs. <laughs> Who told you? Les. Want a quick? Sure. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. <laughs> Have I got something to show you two? No. Not here. In my office. It's more private. Take a look at this. Voila. Oh, Mr. Carlson, it's beautiful. Yeah. It must have cost a fortune. Uh, how much you guessed? It's crass to discuss the price of such things. Well, yeah. <laughs> You're right, but guess anyway. 2700 wholesale, 345 retail. <laughs> Is it for Carmen? Yeah. Oh, that's so sweet. What's the occasion? We're getting married again. Is that nice? Why? <laughs> because we really didn't get married the first time. You mean you and Carmen have been living in sin for 25 years? Yeah. That's cute. <laughs> no, not really. We, we, we were legally married. It's just that we eloped, you know, ran away. So since next week is our silver wedding anniversary, we thought <laughs> we'd have a, a little wedding and invite a few close friends, including everybody here. Do you think that's corny? I think it's wonderful. I think it's terribly romantic. <laughs> but don't you think you ought to date around just a little bit first? <laughs> Is it always the really good ones get away? How about it, Mr. Carlson? <laughs> I, I, I think I should get back to work. Of course you should. See ya, handsome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe I should think about this a while. Baby, if you've ever wondered, wondered whatever became of Cincinnati, Cincinnati, WKRP. Got kind of tired of packing and unpacking. Town to town, up and down the dial. Maybe you and me were never meant to be. Just maybe think of me once in a while. I'm at WKRP in Cincinnati. And, uh, don't you bozos take a hike. Okay. What's up, Jennifer? I have exciting news. Someone here at the station is getting married. Yeah? Not me, I hope. No. Who? Somebody. Who? I know who. Who? You. It's you, gotta be you, of course. You're gonna marry the Admiral. I knew it. I knew it had to happen. I'm psychic like that sometimes. No. <laughs> Less messy. Les Nesma's gonna marry Ethel Merman. No, Arthur and Carmen Carlson, they're going to get married again. Now, isn't that the most exciting and romantic thing you have ever heard? <laughs> well, I just thought that you three would want to be the first to know. 
I'm telling you, damn it, without that greenhouse effect, everyone on Earth would freeze to death. Not so. Unless it would be 250 degrees below zero at night. Prove it. Prove it? How can I prove it? Hi, have you guys heard the news about Mr. Carlson? He and Carmen are getting married again. <laughs> Why? Because they eloped the first time. We have to buy gifts? Oh, no, no, they won't. <laughs> they want to keep it small and simple. Still, we ought to do something. Mr. Carlson would appreciate it. Maybe a little party. Bachelor party. No, I don't think so, Herb. Oh, why not? I haven't been to one of those in years. Tell you what, I'll plan the whole thing. You stay out of this, Les. Huh? I'll handle everything. Mind exclusively. Now, got to think of something out of the ordinary. Something uniquely unique. I, um, I trust you'll plan something tasteful, huh, Herbie? <laughs> what else would I do? <laughs> Strippers, gotta have strippers. <laughs> Thank you, Hirsch. My pleasure, Mr. Carlson. Your mother will be down directly. Thank you, Hirsch. Nice to see you again, Hirsch. <laughs> Hirsch practically raised me. You know. I know, Arthur. I remember saying there, Hirsch. Let's go out and throw that ball around. <laughs> Hirsch, old Hirsch, he'd say, well, maybe later, Mr. Carlson. It's hard to beat a memory like that. Yeah. <laughs> then I'd, I'd come in here and sit. Sometimes I'd sit over there. <laughs> Sometimes I'd just stand. Arthur, huh? you're going to be clear with your mother, aren't oh, you? Oh, you kidding? Clear above what? <clears throat> Would uh, either of you care for a drink? Oh, uh, no, uh, thank you. N no, thanks. Hirsch! <laughs> One silver bullet shaken, not stirred. You'll stir it. <laughs> well, what brings you two here? Oh, not that a mother shouldn't be grateful for a simple phone call every now and then. <laughs> Beggars can't be choosy. How uh, have you been, Carmen? Tell me, I like you. <laughs> Just fine. And the little one? You saw the baby Thursday. That I did. Don't touch that. <laughs> Beautiful child. You have two lovely children. Well, genes will tell. Yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> Look, Mother, <clears throat> I'll get right to the point. Uh, Carmen and I would like to get married again. I see. Hush! <laughs> I, uh, I thought you were married. Well, this time we'd like a little ceremony. <laughs> ceremony? Shaken? Yes, ma'am. You're lying. If you say so, ma'am. <laughs> oh, no, thank you. <laughs> well, let's get back to the conversation. You, uh, what? <clears throat> Mom, 25 years ago... Oh, don't say 25 years ago. Say a while ago. <laughs> a while ago, we got married. And you and, ran away. And we ran away. We ran away because you'd taken over the wedding. This was becoming the biggest party that Cincinnati has ever seen. Oh, nonsense. N nonsense? Fred Waring and his Pennsylvanian singing in the back of... <laughs> I mean, that, that, that's not big. Senator Taft was coming. You invited Eisenhower. Well, I wanted a proper wedding. Well, we didn't know any of those people. Well, I did. Well, that's the point. You took over the wedding. It, it was all for you. I'm a mother. Exactly. Oh, oh I'm not rude. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were. I, uh, you're right, I was. It's all right. <clears throat> no, no, it isn't all right. Yes, it is. Oh, thank you, darling. Oh, you're welcome, sweetheart. Good God. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Mom, um, we, uh... All right, Arthur, come on out with it. Well, we'd like to have a little wedding. And then I emphasize the word little. And you would like for me to not interfere. Exactly. Oh, I wouldn't dream of it. You wouldn't? Well, why let you two break my heart again? Oh, here we go. <laughs> you know, 25 years or whatever it was, was a long time ago. 
I've mellowed since then. <laughs> then, uh, you'd just come to the wedding. There, there'd be, you know, no parties, no senators, no presents. As you wish. Oh, thanks, Mom. Thank you, Mother Carlson. <laughs> Is that all? That's all. Well, in that case... If you'll excuse me, the Brady Bunch is on. <laughs> oh, but I don't have to tell you about that, Arthur, do I? Oh, no, of course not, Mother. And uh, thank you for your time. No, Hirsch will show you out. Oh, it's all right, Mom. I, I grew up here. <laughs> oh, yes, that's right. I, it's hard to remember sometimes. <laughs> there was to be a lovely wedding party in this room once. Invitations were sent. Presents were purchased. Mom. Oh, I'm sorry my mind wandered. Well, goodbye. And uh, thank you. <clears throat> but bye, Mother. Bye. 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 Uh, what do you want? At least a shower. Is that all? Of course. You swear? I swear. Okay. Bring me the phone. Hi, Carmen. Yeah, this is a big guy. Arthur, your husband. Uh, how you doing, darling? Ah, well, good. Now, I just wanted to call you and let you know that uh, Jennifer and Bailey have already driven over to Mother's place. Yeah, it's just going to be the four of you there, Mom well, promised. Uh, yeah, well, you know, just, just have a lovely shower. No, I'll eat downtown. Yeah, well, have a lovely time, dear. Uh, I love you. Bye. Come in. Hi, big guy, on your way home? Yeah. Look, um... Why don't you just stop by the bullpen first? You know, you know, I understand that the gals are having a shower. That's really too bad. They get to have a shower and you don't get to have a bachelor party. You know, I guess no one was thinking. I guess there's not that one person you can count on. Herb, I wouldn't want a bachelor party. It's the last thing in the world I would want. Mm -hmm. I'd kill somebody who gave me a bachelor party. <laughs> Herb, you, 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 you all right, Herb? 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 It was Les's idea. I tried to talk him out of it. So what are you talking about? Les is planning a surprise bachelor party for you right now in the bullpen. I, I tried to talk him out of it. Oh, God love him. Isn't that sweet? <laughs> Herb, Herb, come on. Okay, ta-da. Here he is, the man we're about hey, to lose hey, to matrimony. Hey. Here comes the groom. Yeah. Well, you having a good time, big guy? So far. <laughs> Tell you what, it, uh, it wasn't Les's idea. I tried to share the credit, because that's, you know, that's how I am, but hey, what the heck, it was my idea exclusively. <laughs> Guys, I really appreciate it. Well, you know, Thank Mr. Carlson, we just kind of chipped in. Not now, Travis. <laughs> Mr. Carlson. Why do I have on this raincoat? I don't know, Herb. Well, let me tell you why, darn it. This is a theme party. Now, it was 25 years ago when you first got married. So we all decided to wear what we wore 25 years ago. So, ta-da! <laughs> now, <clears throat> I'd um, just like to ask... The rest of the guys, you know, and I'm not going to get mad why they didn't dress the way they did 25 years ago. Uh, let's go around the room, Les. This is the way I was dressed 25 years ago. <laughs> okay, okay, fine, I'll buy that. But, uh, Venus, what, what's your story? Is that the way you dressed 25 years ago? No, Herb, I decided it was just another jughead idea of yours, so I ignored it. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I mean, there is always one apple... But let's ignore it and have a ball, okay? I mean, come on. Everybody just come on in here and get drunk 
Except me, of course, who has a little problem in that area, okay? Come on now, because I have a, a big surprise for you in about 15 minutes. <laughs> You ask me, Fred Waring would be a welcome sight about now. Oh, no, Mother Carlson, this is fun. Oh, thank you. Can uh, Hirsch get anyone anything? No, thank you. I don't think so. <laughs> I was thinking of standing. <laughs> May I do that? Of course, my dear. Oh, well, that's much better. <laughs> Might I move about? But well, certainly, we're here to have fun. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. It's always a pleasure to see you, Jennifer. Thank you. <laughs> These paintings are by N.C. Wyeth. Isn't that Andrew Wyeth's father? Yes, that's correct. They're very nice. Well, thank you. <laughs> this one is of a hanging. Yes, I'm particularly fond of that. <laughs> very much in favor of capital punishment. <laughs> Interesting. Yes. Oh, by the way, Carmen, I've taken the liberty of inviting a few friends over tonight. Tonight? Yes, tonight. Oh, well, I hope you don't mind. Oh, no. Not at all. Harsh! <laughs> Somebody threw me. I thought you'd like this. I think I'll go home. No, 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 no. You, you can't go. Why not? Because I've invited a whole bunch of advertising clients over, huh? Hey. I think it's the most wonderful idea getting married again. We are so romantic. <laughs> I've been checking out the shower presents we're raking in a pretty good haul. Oh, I begged you not to do this. Oh, I know, dear, and forgive me, please, but I can't help myself. I'm a wedding junkie. <laughs> and after all, you did run away the first time. You're right. So please, do just give me this. I ask so little. All right, then. Thank you. You're not mad. No. About the wedding, Carmen, I would like for you to wear my grandmother's dress. But it's not going to be a formal wedding. Not formal? Oh, dear, I'm not sure we can have that. <laughs> her! 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 I don't get it. I told totally him the dress, period, you know, like they did 25 years ago. I think it'd eat with you for this here. Remember that. Now, what's a friend for? Do a friend the favor, ask for nothing in return, eh? <laughs> she wants us to be married at the cathedral, a full high mass ceremony. We're not even Catholic. <laughs> what are you going to do? I don't know. Excuse me, Mrs. Clausen. But your husband's outside standing in the bushes. He's asked me to ask you if you'd care to elope with him. To what? To elope with him. Why, thank you, Hirsch. Oh, Mrs. Carlson, you have a lovely honeymoon. <laughs> just as wonderful as the first one. Oh, thank you. It's just like the first one. <laughs> ah. <laughs> May I please get you to something? Anything at all? No, thank you. Well, I'd like another drink, please. Oh, get it yourself. I'm busy. <laughs> Did 
changed. <laughs> well, it's been 25 years. Yeah, but it was, it was so nice, so charming. Well, want to leave? Oh, no, no, no. We, we spent our first honeymoon here. We'll, we'll spend this honeymoon here. Yeah, I'll just freshen up. There's a machine in the bathroom that sells things. <laughs> uh, may maybe you can't go back. Perhaps another motel would be nice. Wouldn't be the same. It'll be better. Yeah. <laughs> Carmen. I didn't have the money 25 years ago to buy this ring. Oh, Arthur. Still remember the sign. <sighs> until this is finished. <laughs> Hi, Jennifer. How are things? Your mother is in your office. My mother? Hi, Mom. <laughs> Hello, Arthur. I think I'll just take a little stroll around the barracks. <laughs> <clears throat> How are you feeling, Mom? Not well. Oh. I have a bone to pick with you, Arthur. Uh -huh. I'm very angry, not to mention embarrassed. Why is Herb here? I don't know, and I don't care. I'll tell you why. You'll tell him later. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I just want to say that I went to a great deal of time and trouble to throw you a party. And you just walked out, ran away. And now I understand there's not even going to be a wedding. Even though I've already arranged to rent a red plaid crushed velour tuxedo with tails. It just shows you what I get for caring so much. Thanks a lot, sir. Yes, Mom. Never mind. Dominique Canique from the Singing Nun. <laughs> Had a 
about uh, five o'clock in the a.m. And this is the doctor sitting in for your favorite all-night man and mine, Moss Steiger. We sure miss him, don't we? <laughs> what do we got here? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Say, WKRPI, it's, it's that lucky KRP Winnekeen portable radio time when yours truly, insert name here. <laughs> I tell you what, babies, I'm just gonna level with you. Uh, we got about 50 of these 100-pound bodybuilder model portable radios and... Uh, you put them up on the shoulder, you wander into a crowd of people who have no interest in your musical taste. They'll part like the Red Sea. Uh, we're really looking to uh, unload them quick, you know what I mean? So, uh, anybody who recognizes at least three of the many obscene words in this next tune, give me a call and you could stagger out of here with one of those in your hand if you can carry it. And we're going to stay right into the promised solid hour of the very solid, late, great Otis Redding. And remember, I'm standing by my phones. Let me hear those obscene words. <laughs> Up at 5.07. Just listening, huh? Great. How, how do I sound? Wow. Congratulations. No, just by your very words, I think you've won yourself a radio, pal. <laughs> KRP Got kind of tired of packing and unpacking From town to town, up and down the dial Maybe you and me were never meant to be Just maybe think of me once in a while I'm at WKRP in Cincinnati Walter and Dan and Harry and Morley and Mike all looked up at me with their eyes bulging out like little baby pigs and pleaded, please, Mr. Nessman, please, Mr. Award winner, please don't come to New York and put us newsmen out of work. Aha. Uh -huh. What did you tell them? Well, I never speak in my dreams, Jennifer. That's just how I am. Of course you are. <laughs> Yes, I'm the great pretender <laughs> Pretending that you're still around ooh, ooh. <laughs> My need is such <laughs> I pretend too much I'm lonely, but no one can tell Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Morning, lass. Johnny, my space has been violated. Congratulations, it's about time. <laughs> oh, thank God. Lass, where is the coffee pot? I don't know. Somebody's taken my typewriter. Hey, man, there's a whole lot of stuff missing. Good guy. 
Les, I hate to say this, but I think we have been robbed. Somebody must have jimmied the lock. Jimmy did. I think they took the whole door. <laughs> Six kind of meats, seven kind of cheeses, and little tiny olives placed in the shape of the station call letters. Unlimited champagne, not too expensive. A bartender, and for class, a coat check girl in a very short skirt. <laughs> Come on. Tell the truth. Is that the perfect party or what? Yeah. Who was there? Was? No, 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 no. This is what I'm planning for us this Friday night. <laughs> the station, WKRP. I mean, every, we're inviting every ad agency in town. Oh. You know, I, I rented the banquet room downstairs. You, you approved this weeks ago. <laughs> this Friday. Every ad man in the city will be there. Don't you remember? Oh, uh, oh yeah. yeah, of course I do. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, thumb gun, you had me going. <laughs> you, you know, old Herbie was completely <laughs> fooled by your dumb act. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a hoot. <laughs> that was pretty good, wasn't it? <laughs> Good golly. Oh, Mr. Carlson, I didn't want you to see your office like this. It's a mess. We've been robbed. Oh, no. That's awful. They hit the lobby, too. I don't know what else. I feel just terrible. Yeah, so do I. I, I I've never been robbed. I, I don't... Oh! They took my big boss... 650 rod and reel. It, it, it's gone. I, uh, I'm afraid they, uh, they took all of your hobby equipment, too. What? Your toys. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Carlson, I, I, I think I'd better go call the police if we still have a phone left anywhere. I'm sorry. Jennifer? Why would somebody do this to me? I, I never hurt them. I know. You know, I, I doubt if I even know them. Why, I, I don't think they even know me. Who knows? We could pass on the street without knowing, you know? I think so. Okay, Les. Give me your list. Wonder why they didn't steal any of my awards. I don't know, Les. Now, what was taken? Here. The silver sow alone is invaluable. The fools. <laughs> Here's the list of the things that were stolen from the lobby in Mr. Carlson's office. Wow, two pages? Uh-huh. You know, Mr. Carlson is really pretty upset. He even ordered a burglar alarm system without clearing it with his mother. He wanted it installed today, but... The best anybody could do is Friday. Oh, no. I don't believe this. I had $300 in concert tickets. 300? You told me 200. He told me 100. <laughs> the point is, they're gone. Well, nothing missing in my desk here. Yeah. Yep. So I'm okay, too. Interesting. And neither of you allegedly heard anything last night, either, did you? <laughs> now, what does that mean, Les? Just that it's... Interesting. <laughs> Come on, Les. Johnny's no thief. He's a bum. <laughs> Venus wouldn't do it because he'd be the first person we suspect. Very sensitive of you, Herb. I know. And I also know that we ought to line these guys up and shoot them right between the eyes. <laughs> Wait a second, you think these people should be uh, killed for a couple hundred bucks worth of office equipment? John, the, the, the point is we're not even safe in our own office. I'll tell you all something. I've been considering for my own peace of mind and buying a gun. Nothing dangerous about that, is it? Modern society as we know it is doomed to a painful and stinking death. The police are waiting for that list. Oh, and add the uh, 50 giveaway radios. They're gone, too. Oh, no. This 
just makes me sick. It's like I want to scrub everything before I touch it. How about looking on the bright side of this, huh? Nobody was hurt. Johnny here could have been hit over the head or shot or worse. You know, he was here alone. Sure. I hadn't thought about it that way. All right, it's just been a break-in. They happen all the time. I mean, it's, it's our turn. Now, what's the odds of that happening twice, huh? Uh, yeah. Now, the police suggest that we watch ourselves at home. The thieves walked out of here with our entire personnel file. They have our home addresses, the hours we work, and even our salaries. So, uh, be careful, all right? <laughs> that settles it. This citizen's angry. Everybody? I'd like to say a few words about that robbery. I know how each of you feels. I certainly feel the same way myself. It's frightening. I think somebody walked into our offices last night, yet we can't let this change the way we live. Things have got to get back to normal. That's why I'm asking each of you, including myself, to show up Friday night for Herb's advertising party or reception or whatever the heck. Oh, good God. God. Look, I don't want to go to that... I don't want to go to that thing any more than the rest of you do. <laughs> like my mother has said on numerous occasions, the least you can do is try to act normal. Now, by throwing this switch, the system is fully activated. Uh -huh. the, the blue one. No, the green one. All oh, right. Uh -huh. Now, we are tied into the police station through the phone lines where an alarm goes off if anyone opens that door. Hey. See you all at party night. Oh, yeah, you bet. Eight o'clock, right? Right. Hello, officer. This is WKRP. We're just testing the system again. <laughs> I, uh, guess you know why I ordered this, uh, this system, Jennifer. Certainly not because you're surrendering to urban paranoia. No, 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 no. And not because it's just a great big fun toy. No. <laughs> you installed it because it's a reasonable response to an unreasonable situation. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Now, where were we? Um, fully activated, I believe. Okay. <laughs> Here we go, and there we are again. Uh -huh. <laughs> See? Yeah. Now, if anybody opens that door, an alarm sounds here and at the police station, and then help is on the way, unless you call this number that I have written down right over here. Well, See? <laughs> so this is what's going to keep out the bad people, huh? Looks like a fun toy. <laughs> well, it isn't. That happens to be an unreasonable response to a reasonable situation. <laughs> This is Venus on WKRP providing the musical score to your life. Sounds good, doesn't it? I heard this gala was supposed to start at 8 o'clock. Look, if nobody's going to show, I'd like to get home. I'm worried about my family being there alone. Why don't you let him go, her? Be a sport, huh? Where's your name tag? He ate it. I saw him. <laughs> you, you guys are having fun, aren't you? Honestly, Herb, when it's 10 o'clock, I am gone. <laughs> you got something more important to do, huh? I'm going to spend another sleepless night at my apartment, sitting by the phone, listening to noises. It's the same at my house, Bailey. Can I go home too, Herb? <laughs> no, 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 wait just a minute. Didn't you people pay attention the other day to the stirring words of the big guy? We were asked to act normal. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'm going to stay right here and try my darnest to do just that. <laughs> and it's my guess that Travis will be right beside me. Right, Andy? Get away from me, Herb. Who's he? Uh, oh, it's nobody. Now, uh, where were we? Well, you were telling me how you first got interested in radio. That's right. Mm -hmm. Herb, your party was perverse. Wait, wait, wait. John, 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 John. But wait, now, look. I, I, I promised them that a celebrity would be here. Uh, use less, okay? <laughs> I, I, I want to go upstairs, get a couple hours sleep. I got to do the all-night shift again. Look, John, John, wait, wait a minute. Wait, wait. Uh, I, I tell you what, if you'll promise to stay just for a few more minutes, I'll tell you something that could save your life. Sure. Okay, now I know you're gonna be on the air all alone tonight, 
So today I bought a gun. <laughs> what? It's in my desk if you need it. Top left drawer and it's loaded. <laughs> Have a nice time at the party. <laughs> oh, oh, welcome, welcome. <laughs> I'm with Brady and Silver. Oh, well, I'm Herb Tarlick, executive sales manager, Dilly KRP, and you are, um... Uh... Hilda, I, I run the mailroom at the agency. <laughs> Venus is here, my children, always close by. And through the heaviness of a lonely night, there's just the two of us. As in Bill Withers and Grover Washington, Jr. This is no false alarm, officer. No, we... Yeah, right, well, but look, I'm not kidding around this time. This... Yeah, uh-huh. But look, it was... Yeah. All right. Uh... Well, Ted Colin, when his shooting starts, huh? <laughs> so now what? Check out the station, see if there's anybody out there who shouldn't be. Yeah, and if they shouldn't be, it's a good point. <laughs> Look, Herb told me something today in the strictest of confidence. He's got a gun in his desk. <laughs> he said I was the only person he told. I heard about it from Les. <laughs> I don't want to go get the gun. Well, why not? You're the Vietnam vet. You've got experience with weapons. I swore I'd never touch another gun, man. I don't want to shoot anybody. Maybe we're getting a little carried away here. Yeah, we sure are. Right. I mean, why would the robbers come back anyway? Yeah, everything of value is already stolen. Right. Of course, it has been replaced. Brand new stuff. Yeah. You know what? We could get the gun and unload it. That's safe, huh? Yeah, I guess we could then check out the station. Yeah, I mean, uh, we're just paranoid. I know I am. <laughs> <laughs> just noise and false alarm. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> if there's anybody out there and they have a loaded gun, uh -huh. and they see our gun... Right, and... we shouldn't unload ours, right? You pick up a gun, you better be ready to use it. Top drawer? Right. I said left. <laughs> All of society will be crushed under the massive weight of man's basic disrespect for his fellow man. Ergo the testament of John Donne. Said not to know for whom the bell tolls, it tolls for thee. What bell? <laughs> Excuse me, don't you notice anything strange? The kid with the round glasses? Yeah. Huh? No, I mean, no, no music. It's unlike Venus to mess up. Excuse me, big guy. I've got two real agency VIPs. They want to talk to the man in charge. Well. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen Andy? <laughs> Did I say Andy? I meant Artie. May I call you Artie? Point that thing, man. It scares me. Oh, you want to take it? Fine. I didn't say. Well, it's your turn, man. I took it in the bull. Andy's office. Watch it. Watch it. One of us just turned pale. <laughs> Fever. 
man, when we started this, I didn't think we were going to find him. Venus, bad planning. What's going on here? Why is that front door unlocked? Shut up. Shut up. What are you shooting me for? The thieves are back and they're in your office. We got them cornered. <laughs> well, that settles it. There's three of us, including Johnny. We got the rod. The rod? Sure, rod, piece, gat. Iron, heater, trussle, <laughs> it's, it's, it's Andy, Venus. Put, put the gun down. Put the gun down. What are you guys doing? Pulling the leg of the old program director here. <laughs> Sorry, Andy, man. Look, I, I, I told you not to play around with guns. Oh, well, shut it, man. Is that a real gun? Yeah, it is. It's not loaded. Yes, oh, it my is. Oh, God. You aimed that at me. At me. Travis, I think that... No DJ has ever pointed a gun at me before. Not at any station I've ever worked. Oh, oh sure. I mean, we've had some problems before. But... <laughs> Travis, who's in my office? <laughs> oh. oh, hi. Has the party moved up here? Oh, well, woo, woo, woo. <laughs> Everybody meet Stella? That's, uh, her, she's uh, right there. Uh, well, Andrew was just showing me his office. Um... <laughs> hey, do all these people work for you? <laughs> uh, Andy. <clears throat> Mr. Travis. <laughs> I suggest that you have one of your employees get a record on the air. You may be forced to fire your program director. <laughs> I'm sorry, Andy. Man, I wasn't going to shoot you. I was going to shoot... Damn! It's my fault, too, Trap. We'll chat about this later, all right? Uh, I'll put the record on to give it to you. Great excuse to leave the room. Should I go with you or wait in your office? I'm oh. <laughs> oh, sorry, Mr. Carlson. I then unload that thing, will you? I know better than this, man. Well, I, I, I think we were both more affected by the robbery than we thought. Yeah, I, I got carried away. Yeah. Well, let's face it. I think we all did. Not me. I've been expecting the downfall of modern society. <laughs> well, I think you missed it, Les. It already happened. That could be the case, Venus. However, I, uh, I refuse to give up faith in my fellow man. Well, here's where everybody's hiding. I really hope you're in the mood for a surprise. Oh, well, I really don't think so, and I think I can speak for everybody. <laughs> Too bad. While you were all up here doing heaven knows what, downstairs at the party, somebody took off with all the coats and purses. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> we got nobody to blame but ourselves. <laughs> then on the other hand... <laughs> 